In this question, we are told that fx can also be expressed as 4 times x minus h squared plus k, and we have to find the value of h and k. Once again, there are different approaches that we can take here. In my solution, I will use the concept that h and k represent the coordinates of the parabola's vertex. Let's draw a sketch of the parabola. The leading coefficient in the equation for fx is 4, which is a positive number. This means that the parabola opens upwards, and we can sketch it like this. Here, I also wrote down the form of fx that we worked with in the previous question part. From this form, and the answer from question part b, we can conclude that the roots or solutions of this equation are 0 and 2. Of course, these roots show us that the parabola has x-intercepts at 0 and 2, so we can add these intercepts to our graph. The vertex of this parabola is here. Due to the symmetry in the graph, this vertex is halfway between the x-intercepts. The number halfway between 0 and 2 is 1, so the x-coordinate of the vertex is 1. So from this we can conclude that h is equal to 1. Since k is the y-coordinate of the vertex, to get its value we'll substitute 1 into the expression for fx, in other words, we'll find f1. Substituting, we get 4 times 1 times 1 minus 2, which is equal to 4 times 1 times negative 1, so negative 4. Therefore the value of k is negative 4. Let's see a reminder that you can take away from here for similar questions. To find a solution, we use the idea that fx is given in the vertex form. Keep in mind that when the equation of a quadratic function is written in the form fx equals to a times x minus h squared plus k, which we also call the vertex form, the coordinates of the vertex are h and k. Remembering this can give you a shortcut to the solution.